Hello and welcome to this short video update. Um, about a week ago I uploaded a video, just a little brief introduction to the new web version of Skype. Um, as I said in that video, if you haven't seen it, the web version is in beta mode so that you know there are changes happening all the time and ironically within a day or two of me putting the, the first short video up when I logged into the web version of Skype just to check up if there had been any changes lo and behold there had been a change and I thought I would just do a quick little video to show you the change. Now in the previous if you like version of this web Skype version there was no contacts list at all as far as no contacts on the side you had to actually use the search box and type um, the person you wanted to ring or the person you want to send a text message to you can see now that they have added a contacts tab here which when you tap on it gives you your list of contacts you can then just scroll down and find the people or the person that you want to chat to there doesn't look like there's been um, much other um, in the way of, of changes on the surface that I can see. Uh, there might have been things, you know, within the <clears throat> the browser software that, or, the, or the actual version that I can't see, some code or other stuff. But basically, this is the change. And I just thought that if you hadn't seen the original video or if you're just finding out about um, the Skype web version that you might like to know that yes it is obviously progressing and I think as time goes on more functionality will be added to it but the nice thing is that you don't have to download or install anything extra when there's a change made it's made via Skype and the next time you open your browser and log in you should see the changes happening and if you hadn't seen the first video and you said what's this Skype web it's a version of Skype that runs out of the web browser basically what you do is and in this case I've opened up Chrome in the previous video I had Internet Explorer running so you go to the browser you type web.skype.com you'll get a screen which asks you to put in your um, Skype credentials, username and password. So if you haven't created a Skype account at all, you need to do that first. And once you log in, the very first time you log in, you'll be asked to install a little plugin and that plugin gives you or gives your browser access to the web camera and that's, but it's a one-off thing. And I installed the plugin while I was using Internet Explorer. And now that I've opened up um, Chrome, there's been no change to it. So um, I don't have to install it for the other browsers. It just seems to work no matter which browser. So that's it. It's just another short little video on how to use or on actually on a change that happened to the web version. I will keep my eye on this web version as they keep rolling out functionality and I'll add more videos um, when I see more changes.